day 719 being Christopher Cruz. It's Saturday. Um, so, a few things. Yesterday, my grandpa sent me a message. Uh, he's caught up on watching all my videos, and he was like, uh, something that, that he learned is that... Um, that we have capabilities and skills and it's not jo God's job to carry us. God walks beside us, which means we got to put in the work. It's like a, it's like a partnership. And he's like, you know, you have skills and you have knowledge and you got to get it out there. And when you get the blessings, you give God the glory. And I was like, wow, that makes so much sense. Um, and it's true, I've seen it again and again, like when I went and spoke on those stages and did the coaching calls, like God blessed me so much. And you know, I'm in this internship and I'm working really hard and uh, I might end up running it. And so, um, yeah, I gotta, I, gotta do, I gotta do the work. Doesn't matter if I'm at church four days a week, like, or if I'm tired, like I gotta do the work. I gotta put in the work for my business. Um, and this morning, like I had zero dollars in my account because I got gas yesterday, three dollars and ten cents in gas. And uh, Araceli zilled me a hundred dollars, and I was just like, man. First, it, like I'm grateful, so grateful. Um, and then like that just struck a chord of like, what the fuck, Chris? Like, come on, <laughs> like come on. And I messaged my grandpa and I just said, thank you for that because maybe I'm, maybe I'm doing this wrong where it's like I'm relying on too much on God to deliver, but I'm not doing my part when it comes to my business. Like I need to be reaching out to a lot of people. I need to be doing stuff like that. Um, and maybe I'm not doing my part in the equation. And like I told him, like, I want to talk to him more because he has wisdom that I don't have. Like, I'm trying to figure this out. This is all new. Like this relationship with God, like I'm not really sure exactly how it's supposed to work. So I'm, I'm doing the best I can with what I have and with what I know. But just him saying that, it's like, ah, I get it. There's like an equation, you know, it's like you do the work God delivers, which I believe that when I was into the whole new age thing, because that's how the universe works. Like you take action and the universe delivers the results and and so it just like clicked like ah that's the that's the relationship um and so yeah so that was significant and then i i stopped it uh 7-eleven i've never gone to 7-eleven right right down the street from my house um to go to the atm and um there's a guy standing there he's like hey sir would you be willing to to get me something to eat and i didn't even think about it i was just like yeah sure just like, and I was like, ah, what? No, you have a hundred dollars. Like you're not. And it was just like, oh God, I just felt like this kind of like immediate regret. <laughs> and I was just like, why did I say yes? God. Um, and so he goes in there and he gets a, a big gulp and a sandwich and it's like six or seven dollars. Um, and he's standing in line. He's like, hey man, uh, do you have a job for me? And I was like, no, sorry. He's like, you know, I used to be a driver. I used to drive down to San Diego every day and, um, you know, I'd make 1200 bucks a week and it was great. And then I got laid off and I can't get a job. You know, all I have is my car and I'm living out of my car. And, uh, I was like, why don't you drive DoorDash? He's like, oh, it's like, you have a car, like you can deliver food. He's like, yeah, but you know, that's, that's only like a hundred bucks a day. And I'm like, that's $3,000 a month as I'm talking to myself. And so I'm having this conversation with this guy about uh, just hustling. And uh, and it just opened his eyes. You could see when I did the math for him, like $100 a day might not seem like a lot, but that's $3,000 a month. And even if you only do it for a month, um, you know, that can get you back on your feet. And it just kind of left him like, oh wow. He, he hadn't really like seen that far ahead and uh it was just like this is like crazy to even say but it's like god was showing my me my future 
if I don't do things differently. That's like scary to even say. Like, like that guy just looked like it was like, that's my future if I don't get my shit together on a whole new level. And then I walked away and I was, you know, feeling like good because I inspired him and, and he needed to hear that message and I needed to hear that message. And, but also feeling like regretful that I just spent $7 and feeling bad because Araceli sent me that money. And then I just remember like when it talks about in the Bible where, you know, Jesus said, if I asked for food, did you feed me? If I asked for clothes, did you clothe me? Um, and, and so I, I don't, I shouldn't feel bad. And I know Araceli in her heart. And if, you know, someone like that asked her, she would do the same thing. She'd, she'd go above and beyond. Like I've seen her do it before. So, but it was just like, and then I walked out and I'm like, when I said yes to him, it was like this without a doubt, of course. It was like this, of course, of course I will, man. Of course I'll, 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 I'll help you. And it's like, what I realized is when I said that, of course, it was like, that's the guy who is a, has abundance and who's successful. And it's just that energy of that, of course, like that was, that was the real me energy. And it's like the, the devil wants me stuck in mediocrity because if I'm stuck in this mediocrity, I can't make a difference in the world. I can't do anything. So I just feel like I'm up against the greatest challenge of my life, which is overcoming myself. I'm, I'm running up against the greatest wall, which is myself. And man, it's hard to break through. <laughs> <sighs> but I have no choice. Like, I have no choice. Like, I have to make shit happen. And so, yeah. I'm going to read a little bit, and then I'm going to go, and I'm going to I'm gonna read a little bit, and then I'm going to plan out the online store, and I'm going to work on it when I get home. And I should have it launched uh, today or Monday and I'm just going to put it out there because like God showed me that that vision of uh, this becoming real and I never thought it would start with the clothes but so many people love the logo so many people are waiting to buy stuff like I never thought it would start with with that before I had the whole brand mapped out the programs and all that but like God made it so clear. He gave me that vision and it, it gave me goosebumps. And it was just like, it was just like my soul was just saying, absolutely, yes, this is the way to go. And so I don't know exactly how or why, but I'm just going to do it. And um, yeah. And my mind was just kind of like opening like, hey, this, this is a believer brand. Like I can... I can post the link to, you know, this and, and a teaser video of all the stuff and um, post it in every, you know, Christian Facebook group and church group and and all of that. Like, so I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I'm just going to do what what God showed me. So I'm going to I'm going to go read a little bit and read some of the Bible and then I'm gonna plan out my step-by-step -step action plan to, to get it launched, which shouldn't be very much, and then I'm gonna go work on it. Then I'm gonna go to church at six to help set up, make 50 bucks. They'll pay all of that out in a week or so, so, and then I'm gonna come home and, yeah. This is just like a, a significant point in my life, like I'm at this fork in the road. And it's like, I, I was at, I was here at Starbucks yesterday. Um, I think it was yesterday or day before yesterday. And someone, it was day before yesterday, someone drove up in a Porsche 911. It's like a $150,000 car. And it was so nice. And he got out and I was just like, I just pictured myself getting out of a, that exact car, but just a different color wearing like the uh, super nice like kind of suit like super fit like it was just like like 
that's who I'm called to be. And it was like, God gave me that vision too. Like, wow. Dang, that just hit me. Within two days, God gave me two visions of two futures. Like the guy who's who gets out of the Porsche and shines his light to the world and gives God the glory. And he's succeeding spiritually, physically, financially. And then there's the guy who's standing outside of 7-Eleven asking people to buy him lunch. Just trying to get by. Dang. Dang. All right, got it. I feel that in my soul. That is intense. Oh my God. And it was so weird because he got out of that Porsche. And one of my uh, friends at church, you know, he's like into all the fancy cars. And he's like, you're, you're an Aston Martin kind of guy or a Porsche guy. And uh, like when this guy got out of the, out of the car, it was the first time in a very long time where I felt like I really wanted that car. Like I felt like that desire for something, for some materialistic thing that I haven't, I haven't had that desire in so long since I've been going to church. It's like God kind of removed that. Um, and then he got out of that car and it was just like, it was like that car is a representation of who God has called me to be like the success that God has called me to have so I can shine my light and give him the glory and and so it was just like yeah wow and then when I was leaving 7-Eleven the guy had walked around the corner and I saw his car and it's like this old white Toyota Camry like 1995 or something just you know Yeah, I said in the beginning of this video, I feel like I'm in a fork in the road. And it's like God showed me the two futures. And I know who I'm called to be. It's just like there's never been anything harder in my life than being who I'm meant to be. Like it is just the greatest challenge and hurdle living into my potential. But that's my purpose in the world help people live into their potential and lead them back to god like so of course it's my greatest struggle your purpose is always your greatest struggle in life and so it's just like the most frustrating thing that has ever existed to know you're full of potential and not live into it yeah man god is working on me hard more than capable like the stuff that I do for other people with their businesses and coming up with ideas and branding stuff and it's just like the intelligence that God has given me and the gifts that God has given me like I should already be a millionaire without a doubt like it's it's shocking to me that I am where I'm at, where I am and it's it's frustrating that I've just failed to live into that but I have a choice like God just showed me man God just showed me the two futures the Porsche guy or the 7-Eleven guy and if I keep doing what I've been doing I'm going to be the 7-Eleven guy
All right. <laughs> this is intense. Okay, I gotta go.